The film I'm going to share with you today is called Catalepsy. It is similar in style to my profile in Confusion comic strips, which replaced Blender Kitty in all but name after 2005. The cats featured in this short animation are not the cute kittens you find on office cubicle calendars. One might describe these cats as indifferent or unpleasant. There is also a subtext supplied by allusions to chimpanzees launched into space. This subtext peels away the thin veneer of cuteness that we shellac over animals. I once made a comic about Laika, the Soviet space dog, where the dog achieves a kind of omnipotent consciousness, similar to what happens at the end of the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey. I don't play. You have me confused with a dog. I disable moving objects. This is what I do. If you throw a ball, I disable it. I make moving things stop moving. It's the way I'm wired. It's nothing to do with you. I'm interacting with a moving object, not you. We are not playing. You are dead to me. Unless I am hungry. In which case, I want to see you move. Preferably in the direction of the refrigerator. I have a blood pressure, too. I guess that means I am a living organism. Fancy that. I guess that means you have obligations and responsibilities in life after all. It's no longer just about you, anymore. Isn't this an amusing turn of events? Does someone have a camera? Because I don't think I will ever get tired of looking at this. Why are you hiding behind that door? Do you think I can't see you watch me dance like the foxy temptress I am? Do you think I can't see how I am invading your dreams and destroying your well-laid wedding plans with my best friend, Melissa? Can't you see that I can see what a complication I am suddenly becoming? Don't you see that I can see how I am changing everything? You don't pet me. Let's get that straight. I walk under your hand. I do all the work because this is on my terms, not yours. This is entirely about physics, about an oppositional force against my backbone. Not petting. You don't understand. I can never grow up. To be forever young, I must remain here in your childhood memory. I am the milk moustache, the booger joke, the cootie vaccine, and the giggle pill. I am the fond remembrance, the conjured daydream, and the wistful smile of childhood recollection. Go on. They are calling you. This is the way it has to be. This is the way it has always been. Go, and do not look back. 